Hello, ladies and babies, and welcome out to Subnautica. That's right, I am going to start my own series of Subnautica. It is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time, and I have briefly enjoyed a few moments with it, uh, streaming it with Nikki. Now, I... <laughs> Seriously, there's been so many updates to this. I have no idea what to expect. I did load up a single player just a bit ago. Uh, some settings were wrong. It didn't work out very well. So I know that the loading screen is going to take absolutely forever here in just a moment. So probably just going to go silent. Uh, let that loading screen do its thing. I'll probably cut out the bulk of it. Uh, there's going to be a short intro sequence, and then I'll see you guys on the other side, and we'll talk a little bit about what this series is going to be over there. So let's hit new game, uh, let's hit survival, and let, it's let, it, let us let it do its thing. What a tongue twister. Attention. It's like a movie. Oh no! Get up! Get up! There's a fire! Oh no! What, what will I ever do? There's a conveniently placed extinguisher right here in front of me! Oh! Maybe I should, uh, uh, pee on it! So pee on- Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't extinguish it! Oh no! Oh, oh I know! I could fart on it! Did that work? No, it didn't work. Okay. Extinguisher it is, I guess. Doesn't give you a whole lot of options, I guess. Alright, fire. Fire. Fire, please. Alright. Done. We good? Cool. My fingers look a little bit strange. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. Haha, <laughs> thank you. you in further survival in emergency situations. You have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface you mean PDA? Will organize your inventory. Of course you mean PDA. Available construction blueprints. Uh-huh. And holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, so, uh... This uh, is our inventory system. Um, now, all of this was here the last time I played this, but uh, we'll kind of go through it as if uh, I've never seen it before, because obviously this is my first series on Subnautica. Uh, a little bit about that. Uh, so as we're going through this real quick, uh, I want to first note that we're probably going to label this as Season 1. Subnautica is in active development. There's a lot of story elements that are missing, haven't been added yet. So we're going to call this Season 1, Episode 1, and we'll go until they make a major story change or our save game gets imploded by updates. And then we'll go to Season 2 and then Season 3 and so on and so forth, uh, just to make it a little bit easier. So I just wanted to throw that out there. That's kind of how I've decided to do it. Let me know what you guys think, if you think that's a good idea or not. Uh, so let's just jump right in here. So... We have our PDA here. Uh, inventory blueprints. Um, I already see things that I have not seen before. Um, so that's interesting. Or maybe I have seen them before and I just forgot. I don't know. Could be either or. We have a we have a log here. Does this allow me to? Okay, this is just a this is a text log. It says voice log, but this is clear. Oh no no, this is what she said to me. I guess. Oh, I see. The Aurora mining vessel has suffered cat catastrophic hull failure. Catastrophic. <laughs> catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected in 100 meter range. Well, that's good to know. That's good. Nothing dangerous here then, right? You know, no, 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 uh, no humans. So, uh, it's gonna be perfectly safe, right? This isn't like the forest where people are gonna eat me or anything, right? Um, and then of course, yeah, this is, uh, the, da the, the data bank here. The data bank. Um just shows me about the the default stuff which I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are all kind of familiar with some of this stuff we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that a little bit later all right so what now what are we doing now we have a fire extinguisher uh let's just kind of take a look here um multiple errors detected in life pod power systems 
Circuitry test failed. Secondary systems offline. Gravity anchor offline. Life pod hull integrity. Okay. That's good, I guess. Um So what do we need to what do we need to do here? Use welder to repair. Okay. I would assume that we don't have so this is the crafter unit. I, I keep forgetting. Uh, for anyone that has, hasn't played, the uh, the fabricator is kind of like, you know, like a, a, a crafting bench or a crafting station from Minecraft or something like that. The recipes are already in here for you, and then as you get new items and craft things, you unlock new recipes. It's, it's uh, you know, standard affair for these kinds of games, I believe. Let's see. So we need the welder. We need this guy. So we need magnesium, crash powder, and titanium to make that. Um, okay. Use welder to repair. Oh, medical kit fabricator. Uh, I don't know how that works yet. Yeah, there's the escape pod. Do we have anything in here? Oh, we do. Okay, so we have flares, filtered water, nutrient blocks. So let's go ahead and take a couple of those guys. Oh, we actually need to eat the food one right now. Oh, uh, tab. Okay, there we go. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Uh. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. Oh, good. Sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. That sounds delightful. It, it shows a hand there, but there's nothing I can really do with that. Okay, let's let's just jump out here and let's take a look. So I'm not running on the experimental. Um, extreme or anything like that because I was having some uh, some graphical glitches while recording. Um, I am getting uh, quite a few frame drops from time to time playing this while recording. Um, I, I'm hoping that maybe I could fix that in the near future, but uh, for now, yeah, I'm still getting, still getting those visual glitches. If anybody knows how to fix those or to prevent those, please let me know. That'd be great. Uh, let's grab. We need titanium. What was it that we needed? We needed titanium. Seconds of oxygen uh -oh. remaining. So let's just take a look. Oh, there's our ship. There's our ship. That's the Aurora. That's what we crash landed in. Uh, we need to get uh, scrap parts. We need to get. Oh, we just need to really. All we, what we really, really need to do is we just need to grab a bunch of crap, take it back to our ship. That's what we need to do. Uh, I know we need uh, crystals. What are these? These are called quartz. Quartz crystals. Yes. 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 Give it all to me. Give it all to me. Get out to me. Oh, I love you so much. Uh, this takes a lot of inventory space, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. Quite a bit, actually. So, we have a first aid kit. We need a nutrient block. Can we just... Oh, oops. Emergency. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me look at the blueprints again, because we need... What do we need to make? We need to make a welder. Where's the welder at? Uh, laser cutter welder. So, we need crash powder and magnesium. Now, I don't... Remember how to get magnesium. Hmm. But crash powder is down here. There's a delightful little critter in some of these little cave areas. That guy right there. Oh! Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, we got crash powder. That's good, right? <laughs> oh, my face. Ugh. So those little assholes right there, yeah, those guys, uh, don't always give you the crash powder, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I have played this before, so this first episode is probably going to be a little bit of a cluster, because I am familiar with, uh, with all of the little early stuff, I guess. Um, how do we make magnesium? Can we, do we use that? Or is that resources? Glass. Magnesium. Salt deposits. Okay, so we need salt deposits. So let us... How do I... How do I eat? How do I eat? Just... Oh, just click on it. That worked. Uh, that was 70... Was that... Oh, uh, I may have just wasted some. Whoops! It's not very efficient, I guess, but that's okay! Alright, to see... Oh, oh, I don't understand what's happening there, but when it happens, man, my frame rate just loses its mind. All right, we need salt deposits. Um, hopefully they look the same as they did the last time I played this. Otherwise, this could take a while. I need them quickly, because it's almost nighttime, it appears. None of this is good. None of this is good. 
Nighttime is not fun. Oh, it does not love me very much. No, it does not. Um, oops. Uh, let's see. It's all deposits. Where are you at? I know there's... Oh, there's some right there. Is that it? It does look different. It does look different, but... But alas. We have found... Oh, oh, oh. And one more. One more. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I think we got enough. I think we can make our welder. This first episode is not a complete waste of time. Uh, where are we going? Oh, there we go. Hello, hi, how you doing? Tools. Uh, ooh, no, no, first we need to make the magnesium. Ta-da! Uh, and then we need to make... Um, welder, yes. Aha! Fantastic! Hear me roar! Alright, so... Uh, what is this? This guy is the... What is this? This is... Damaged life pod systems. Okay, so let's repair this. And... Da -da -da -da. Damn straight, baby! Is that pulling all the smoke out? Because that would be cool. Uh, and then we've got... What is this? This is the damaged communications relay. So let's repair this guy. Why not, right? This is all new to me. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. That's only a few days, right? If my math is correct. That's fine. Fine. We could totally, totally handle that. Ooh. Wait. Did I already? I got two. Do you just give me medical kits from time to time? I don't know how that works. I don't know. Is that... I don't know. Okay, so let's read here. Okay, status. Okay. Hull integrity. Okay. Secondary systems online. Gravity anchor online. Life pod hull integrity. Okay. Scanning all emergency frequencies. All right. We're good, right? That's all we have to do. All right. So. Um. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, that scares me. That scares me. Okay, let's let's just hang out in here for a second. Let's let's make a game plan. Okay. So. Uh, just a quick overview. I know I've moved through this kind of quick, you know, I just kind of wanted to get this done. So we've got a nice safe place to chat for a second. So on the left over there, you'll see that I have an oxygen meter, a health meter, I have a food meter, and I have a water meter. Now, obviously, it's kind of an aqua planet, but that water out there is, I'm assuming, salt water, uh, because I can't drink it. So I have to come in here and I have to use things. Uh, uh, let's see, sustenance, water, yes. So I need, like, bleach to make water. And I need other supplies and things like that. Now, I can catch the fish for food, and I should probably go ahead and grab a couple here. You just... Come here. Come here. You, you, you. Oh. You guys are good. Yes, new creature discovered. Grab all of the things. Okay. So these air sack guys, these, 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 these pink fat guys that I just picked up. These are uh, air sack fish. We need to get the scanner. There's a device called the scanner. You can scan the wildlife and it'll give you some more information about it. Uh, these guys, though, I can use these air sacs here. Uh, you can either eat them like this, which will reduce your H2O, or you can go in here, uh, sustenance, go to water, or you can just turn these guys directly into filtered water. I don't know how that works. They're called air sacs, but maybe they actually have, you know, water inside them. Maybe that's how that works. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and just turn these these uh, air sacs here into filtered water, just so that we have it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, dear. Good! Good to know. Good. Oh, this is so beautiful. I, I love the way this game looks. It It's, um... It is quite, quite sexy. Indeed. Whoa. What was that? Something blinking over there. So that is the Aurora. That is a mining ship. We were floating across 
space, and apparently something bad happened. We crash landed here. Everybody else is dead. It's just us. That is a moon of some sort, and it is beautiful. Or another planet, or something. It is gorgeous. It's huge and gorgeous. That's a moon. It's much like ours. Might be textured like ours, too. All right, so uh, game plan is we've got water now. Um, and we need to go over here. So equipment. One of the first things I need to get, uh, you notice over here, I've only got 45 seconds of oxygen. And that's just not good for a water planet where we're going to be swimming a lot. So uh, one of the first things that I really want to get working on here is this O2 tank. And um, the O2 tank is just an item that you carry in your inventory. And uh, it'll take up a bunch of space. Actually, maybe we can wear it on our back now. I don't know. It looks like something's changed. So let's go ahead and make that. So you can use quartz to make glass. And this metal salvage actually turns into titanium. So if we go to resources and we go to basic materials, we can make the glass that we need. And we should be able to make the titanium that we need as well. And then that's going to give us a heck of a lot more time underwater. There we go. Very nice. Now, again, I, you know, my, my girlfriend is much... There, there, there it is. So you can hold one O2 tank. You can hold more of them in your inventory, I believe. So you can swap them out. But uh, that's nice that they've put that in the inventory section there for that first one. So over here on the left, you'll now see that instead of having 45 seconds, I have 105, which is a considerable amount more time underwater. We also have all this acid, acid mushroom. We can use that to do... Uh, something in here. I can't remember what it is that we make with that. Oh, batteries. Batteries. Yes, we need copper ore for that. Uh, so that's the first thing that I like to do. And then from there, maybe some fins if we can get some silicone rubber. Um, I believe to make that we need creep vine seed clusters. Uh, hopefully we're near some of that. We'll take a look here in just a second. Um, also, I did not cook my food yet. Um, because if you... I. I don't know, they may have fixed this or changed this, but if you let this food, it will rot over time. And once it gets down to a certain point, you can cook it and regain all of that back. Like, cook out all the, the dead stuff, essentially, all the, all the rot. And uh, I like doing it that way, because that seems to work very, very well. I'm just going to plop all of this stuff in our inventory, because you, we're really going to use a lot of these guys here in the near future. So got some water on us. We got a welder. We got some first aid kits. Let's go do some exploration. It is daylight now, so that's that is a plus. So I think what I'm going to do now is just just kind of explore. We'll spend the rest of this episode kind of exploring and looking around, kind of deciding the things that we want to do. Now that we've got a lot more oxygen, it's pretty good to take care of that early on. Uh, also, here's this like uh, this like uh, this uh, brain coral or whatever it's called these these bubbles here you can actually hit these and these these guys uh, appear lower down or at least they used to and uh, they're really really handy because those bubbles uh, recharge your oxygen as you can see so that's pretty handy um, I think what I'm looking for now is those limestone deposits uh, there's limestone deposits all over the place and those will actually uh, contain what is this creature egg uh Sure. I don't know. That's new to me. That's new to me. Uh, I'm looking for deposits because we need copper. Uh, copper is what we need. Oh, dear. Oh, there goes those frame rates as things load in. Uh, but you can get titanium, copper, silver, gold, all kinds of stuff from these right here. Oh, we got copper. That's actually really good. We might, before we end this episode, we might go back and check to see what we can do with that copper. Uh, let's grab a little, a few more of those. They don't go bad, but... Uh, they're always around. I do actually want to get this air sac here. Oh, come here. It's always good to stock up on water when you can. And, uh, oh, I didn't even see these. These are deposits. I want to be very, very careful here, though. Um, I don't know what all they... Oh, I got lead. Very nice. I got copper. Very nice. I don't know what all they've added um, to, to this game that might be dangerous. So we're just going to kind of take it slow. Take it easy. And uh, make our way through. I think what I want to do now, um, I want to go back over here. I want to see if there's any creep. Oh. I want to see if there's any creep vine near us. Um, I don't know where we're at. So, uh, from my understanding, the way this game works is the map itself is static, but all of the spawn areas and zones for uh, resources and stuff is kind of procedural or, or random, as it were. So, um, 
that makes it a little bit more interesting when you play it because even if you've played it before, ooh, those frame rates. Uh, even if you've played it before, it does it. Oh, I see creep vine. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, even if you've played it before, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's it's going to be the same for you. I don't I don't know if we can actually get the creep vine without the knife, and it could be dangerous over there. So let's just let's just head back. Let's head back. Let's grab let's grab a piece of of uh, metal salvage on the way back for some titanium, some quartz for some glass, and make our way back. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. So, I think for this series, I'm probably going to keep the episodes between 20 and 25 minutes long. I think that's probably a good spot for that. Gives me uh, enough time to get some stuff done, explore a bit, have some fun, and at the same time, uh, not roast to death, because it gets so hot in here without my AC on. But, I, you know, I want that high-quality audio for you guys, because I'm looking out for you. Because I love you, and I care about you. Let's see, uh... That is completely 100% true. Uh, tools. Do we have... Oh, no, we need the silicone rubber. And for that, we need the creep vine seed cluster. Oh, we need the seed clusters. Oh! Oh, that's scary. Welp. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, and next time, we're gonna, we're gonna explore out to the creep vine that we, we found over there. And see if we can get those seed vine clusters. Yeah. Ooh. Not exactly happy about that, because I'm afraid of what might be in the depths over there. It did look a little bit scary. And again, I have no idea what they've added. So, anyways, guys, please, 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 if you enjoyed the video, throw a like on there. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing again, starting all over from scratch over here. So, uh, again, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Any kind of feedback is good feedback. And if you didn't like it, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we might catch that in the next one. Uh-oh. We're probably going to open up the next episode with an explosion. Uh-huh. Anyways, guys, leave a comment down below if you disliked or if you liked, if you just want to say hi. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you guys over there in that next video. Bye, guys.